Yeah, I want to thank the Lord once again for allowing us to come together and give out food for the homeless. Um, the, Bible, the Bible says that you know, we as Christians must show people that we are followers of Christ by our love. I mean, how will men know that we love the Lord unless we show them the love of Jesus Christ? And one way we show them the love is how we like to feed the homeless. You know, there's a lot of people out here in this world that's uh, starving. They don't have food. You know, many of us are blessed. I know I am highly blessed and favored. And, and I have plenty of food in my refrigerator. You know, I have food. I throw away more food than I like to be proud of. You know, I think many of us are in a, many of us are in that situation where we're throwing away a lot of food, um, and that's a waste. But we know when God has blessed you, you know you have to be a blessing to others. You know, and the Bible gives us the blueprint of how we should be a blessing to others. Jesus, when he fed them with the five loaves and two fish, or the seven loaves and two fish, and he blessed it and fed the people. Then after he fed them, he began to teach them. So we're just following the blueprint of Christ here at Christian Unity Temple. We're going to feed the people. We're going to feed them physically. Then after we feed them physically, we pray that the Lord send them back that we can begin to feed them spiritually. You know, we are in the last and dying days. And right now, it's nothing to be playing with. You know, this world is vicious. This world is nothing to be played with. You know, I'm here in Baltimore. These streets are ravaged with drugs and prostitution and killings and this is we're just living in a, in a terrible time and God has blessed us with a church on this corner and I told him as long as I'm still here as the pastor we're going to do our best to be a light to this world that is in full of darkness so one thing we're doing here again is we're feeding the homeless we um, started this food drive about three months ago I want to thank a friend of mine his church Pastor Stone who's this church gets the food. We go over there and pick the food up. And the day we delivered about a thousand pounds worth of food for Thanksgiving. And I was thankful that God was able to bless us to be able to, me and a couple of my friends went over there and we hauled all this food over. And then the people at the church were ready to set it up. And, and then we set it up. We began to distribute it. And the only thing we asked for is that come back and visit us. Come back and, and worship with us. And if you don't know Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to introduce you to a man who changed my life. A guy asked me today, I mean, um, is it okay to not go to church and just have a Bible? I said, well, you know, the Bible says we should never forsake the assemblies of the saints. But um, I told him, I said, you know, I've been on that side without the Lord. And I've been on this side with the Lord. And I prefer to be with the Lord. I'm telling you personally, I prefer to be with the Lord. And God is um, so good and merciful. And I say, you know, the choice is yours. God didn't make us robots. Um, he could have made us robots and we would all had to just sit there and worship him because we're programmed to. But God gave us all a free will to worship him. And I told a young man, I said, you know, I've been on that side and I choose to be on that side. And I choose to um, worship the Lord and um, because he's been good to me. And he's been so good and kind to me that he allowed me to start this food drive for about three months ago. We're going to continue to do this as long as the Lord has given me strength in my body. We're going to continue to feed those who are in need. And I'm looking at these lines that get longer and longer because people need food. People need the Lord. And I thank the Lord for those who've come out and helped us. And I ask that you continue to pray our strength as we continue to distribute this food to get these folks something to eat for Thanksgiving. For many of us are going to have Thanksgiving dinners. But we're not going to even think about it. You're going to have turkey and ham and all the good um, sides and toppings and desserts. You don't even think about it. You just eat till you're full. Some of us uh, become gluttons on Thanksgiving. But a lot of these people, they don't know where their next meal is coming from. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. And I said, I mean, the food is free for them. All God has asked me is, he's given me a car. I can put the food in the car. He's given me money for gas. And most of all, he's given me some uh, a moderate health and strength that I can carry these bags in and we set these tables up and feed the folks. I don't do this because um, I'm trying to get a, a check mark in God's, God's book. I'm doing this because I am saved. I work because I am saved and I wanna show the world the love of Christ in my life. So I thank the Lord again that we're able to continue to bless these people, continue to give them what they need and that we can give them their food for Thanksgiving because this may be the only meal they have for the next week or so. And we're gonna continue to do what God has called us to do 
to feed the homeless and help them. So I thank the Lord for all you all who've come out and helped us. And I praise you that the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.